In this video, we show how to use an Unreal character with iClone Live Link. Here we have a scene with our hero, and you can see that the camera and the paladin are already linked. Now I've unhid the Rampage Elemental character here, and our goal is to actually place him in front of the knight. So I'm just going to rotate him, and we're setting them up so they can fight each other. Now, once I have him in a proper position, I need to make sure he's actually in the Unreal scene. So we're going to grab the skeletal mesh and drag and drop it into the scene. Now that we have it in the scene, let's go to the World Outliner, right click on it, and use the Attach To command to attach it to the iClone Origin. Now this is going to make it the child of the iClone Origin, and you can see it here in the World Outliner. So if we look at the details, you'll notice there is no subject section. This is because we haven't added a blueprint yet. So let's do the apply blueprint to selected character. When this is done, you're going to notice a few changes. First off, the type has changed. Now that we've got this blueprint added. And if you look down in the content browser, you're going to see a CC live link and a blueprint. And now when we go into details, close a few of these, you're going to see a live link section with a subject name. Now this subject name needs to match the name of the character in iClone. So if we look here, we haven't turned the character on yet. So let's go to live link iClone and turn on the character. And you'll see that the character pops into place in the Unreal scene. And this is because all these names match. It's very important that the spelling on all the names are correct. Let's grab a motion file from the motion section in iClone and drop it on our monster. All right, now if we play this, you can see he reacts to the swing. Let's bring him a little closer. All right, I'll hit play again. And that's looking better. So currently the night animation is longer than the monsters. So I'm just going to scrub the timeline here and find a good spot and drag and drop a second animation. But let's scrub through this and check to see how it's looking. Now I'm just going to go to the first frame and hit play. Now let's open up the timeline and actually blend these two animation clips. So I'm just going to overlap them and that's actually going to blend one animation into the next. And that's looking a lot better. I'm just going to close this and adjust the camera a little bit. Go to the first frame. Line up our camera. Now one thing we can do is we can change the scale in Unreal on the monster to make him more ominous. So I'll hit play, take a look. Make one less final adjustment to the position of the monster. And that is how you use an Unreal character with Live Link. 